Sure. My name is Jacob Friedman. Mm. I'm involved with the Harrisburg Public Parking Group that's looking to enter into this transaction. And I'm honored and touched to hear everything that's been said here tonight. I, I, I'm, I've always understood that there was a happy family here because Nancy and Rick and the other leadership here at the HPA <coughs> has shared with us what a wonderful job this whole group has done and the fellowship among you and the fellowship with them. And I want you to understand that I've heard some things that are a little bit wrong and not what's been said and what's been put out there. And so I want you to hear it from me, from the guy who's been involved in looking at this. It's not that we've offered most or some of the employees to retain their jobs. We have said we want to do two things. We want to keep the whole family together as one happy family. And we want to give you an opportunity to enhance your economic situation. And I don't know that it's legal or not for me to talk about the types of things we've proposed to District 90 because there's all sorts of labor laws. But I can tell you we want all of you, all of you, to be part of our family and your family. We've asked Nancy and Rick and all the people that's been in management that you've been working for to stay with us and to remain in their positions. And we've offered them security with a long-term contract and economic enhancements. And we have said to District 90, we want the whole group. And we don't want them for a short period of time. We want to guarantee you those jobs for a very long period of time. And we want you to have not only the jobs that you have today, but a scale and economic position that enhances what you have today. And we're not making promises. I've heard other situations in this, in this county with the nursing home. There's been some issues with the incinerator mm -hmm. where people who thought they were going to have their jobs lost their jobs. We're not saying we're making empty promises. We're saying we're making full and real and very thoughtful <coughs> promises. I've worked from 12 years old as a newspaper boy. I've worked through many companies. We employ almost 400 union <coughs> bargaining unit employees in our various businesses, and we pay overscale, overscale to those people. And the reason we do that is not because we want to come in and cut things. What Nancy and Rick and this HPA has done is build a wonderful parking authority. And you folks have run it beautifully. And we want to come in and help enhance that. We have the capital available to make improvements to this great system and make it even better. So you may not believe me. I see this woman here saying that maybe I'm telling stories out of school. I'm not. We're prepared to put our signature and our money on the bottom line and guarantee you these things. But more importantly, don't listen to my words. Look at our deeds. The Crown Plaza Hotel, right down the block, was operated not by us uh, before October. In October of last year, our group took over the operations at the Crown Plaza Hotel. And what's happened? Before we took over, there were three employees. Before we took over, there was no technology or equipment. And before we took over, there was a level of revenue over here. Since October, we have increased the labor force from three to 20. And I encourage you to go speak to these people and ask them, what's it like to work for us? What is the wage like? What's management like? What's the experience like? And I'll tell you, because I know, that these people will tell you it has been a spectacular experience for them. And we're building our own little happy family there, and we want this whole family to be part of the LAS and North American experience. And so we've taken that garage without increasing any rates, with adding technology and automation, and adding 700% more labor force. We're talking about adding services, keeping the garages open longer. We're talking about increasing valet services, providing valet services up and down 2nd Street. Where do you think the people are going to come from to do that? It's not only this group, but an enhanced group. And our view is it'll create more jobs, more jobs within the system. And you have my assurance that if you are honorable, honest employees, you will have your jobs for as long as we have a garage system here in Harrisburg. Because there's no reason for us not to do that. 
And we want to give you that assurance with a better way to enhance your and your family's economic livelihood. And you've heard that today with TV cameras rolling, with the mayor standing here and the board here. And you can check out my words with the gentlemen and the ladies that work at the Crown Plaza Hotel. And we're giving you that as our assurance. Thank you.